The grief of a mother losing a child is unexplainable. That grief extends when the child is lost in the care of another. Multiple families devastated by the combination of a four-year-old boy and a loaded gun. It was just after nine this morning when EMS and police were called to this home in the 19,800 block of Imperial Stone Drive. The call, a shooting. The victim, a child who found a gun in this house and it went off. Ambulance and EMS crews could not save the young boy who wasn't breathing when they arrived. Me and my wife, we were just coming from the store and we saw the police and ambulance and different things coming down. We didn't know what actually was going on. But like everyone in this small neighborhood, they assumed the worst. It would be worse than they imagined. It's a tragedy what happened. Within minutes, the streets and sidewalks are filled by neighbors and family of the victim, his mother and father. Neither here at the time. This is a friend's home where the boy was left overnight while his mother celebrated her birthday. Just after noon, an ambulance rushed back to the home as that grief that had been building all morning is finally too much for the woman who was caring for the boy in her home. She had to be taken to the hospital after collapsing multiple times in the street in front of her house. It's horrible. It's And I can't imagine the pain that the people Whosever fault it is, you know, the kind of guilt that they're going to live with. Harris County homicide detectives say the case will be presented to a grand jury. Charges are possible. Somebody's at fault, and it's definitely not the child. Now, there is no word on the condition of that woman who collapsed after talking with detectives and was taken to the hospital. This is, though, the second fatality involving a very young child and a gun. In just a few days, a three-year-old died on Friday in northwest Harris County.